do today? We're gonna learn uh -huh. and play. Okay. Sing a song and pray. That's right. God really loves us. God really, really cares about you, me, our families. That's right. God's always right there. Woo! Let me fix my curls. You've tuned into Callie's world. That's right, boys and girls. Welcome to Callie's world. Desert's log. Five, six, ten, a hundred? I have no idea how many days I've been out here. I'm lost in the desert. No food, no wa wa water, no friends to talk to. Except for you, friends. <laughs> Will I ever make it out? Will I make it through? Will I? Can I survive the desert? Callie, it's breakfast time. The hot desert sun is causing madness. The cactuses are beginning to resemble people. People I know. That one looks like my dad. Whoa! My dad! How I miss him. What I wouldn't do for his famous Cali California style omelet with extra cheese and a big glass of refreshing orange juice. Cali, it's getting cold. Oh, okay. Be there in a sec, Dad. I just love pretending. Don't you? It's the bestie best. You know what isn't the bestie best? The desert. Quick, let's name three things we know about the desert. Number one. It's hot. A little heat is cool, but this is too much heat. No trees, no shade, just heat. Number two. It's dry. Have you ever been thirsty, friends? Like. Really, really super, super de duper thirsty? Imagine that, and then add a lot, and you get the desert. My mouth is just dry thinking about it. Number three. Did I mention it's hot? It's so hot, it's worth mentioning twice. It's hot! Callie? Oh, yeah, coming! Friends, I can't think of one good thing about the desert. I wonder, is there any good thing to say about the desert? I'm going to keep on wondering while I eat breakfast and we check out our Bible story for today. It's time for today's Bible story and it comes from the book of Exodus chapter 17. God's people had just seen God do some pretty amazing things. Things like a sea splitting into two big walls of water so that they can walk right through on dry ground. If you saw something like that, wouldn't you say thank you to God forever? Well, the people of God, the Israelites, were thankful for a little while, but they journeyed along together in the desert. They came upon a problem. They couldn't find any water for themselves or their animals. This was a big problem. They needed water to live but they had just seen God split a sea into two. Surely they know that this wasn't a problem and it wasn't a problem too big for God. But the Israelites had been treated badly in Egypt. For so long, it was hard for them to trust God. So they complained to Moses. They asked why he had brought them out to Egypt just to die of thirst. Moses didn't know what to do. God told Moses, take the same staff that he had used to part the sea and hit a rock with it. When Moses hit the rock, water sprung out, enough for all of them to drink. The journey ahead would come with many ups and downs for the Israelites, but God would never leave them and God will always give them what they needed. The same is true for us. We have our ups and downs too. But when we face a big problem, we can remember how God took care of the Israelites and we can choose to be thankful. <laughs> that was good! Both the Bible story and my breakfast. But I can understand why God's people were unhappy in the desert. Whoa. I wonder, I wonder if we should be thankful for deserts. I was talking to my dad during breakfast and he told me that there are good things about the desert too. Can you believe that? 
So no matter what we think about something, we can always choose to be thankful. Quick, let's list three things we can be thankful for from the desert. One, this guy. This is a kind of fox that only lives in the desert. He is so cute. Look at his ears. Oh my goodness. My dad told me there are lots of animals like this little guy that can only live in the desert. Thank you, desert. Two, clay is made from the desert soil that contains a bunch of minerals. Minerals are the tiny little things that our bodies need, and some of them can only be found in the desert. Thank you, desert. Three, this guy again. I know we already said it, but he is so cute. Thank you, desert. And thank you, God, for the desert. So, I guess we can choose to be thankful for the desert. That makes me wonder about what else we can choose to be thankful for. I can choose to be thankful for my dad and this delicious breakfast he made. Dad, I'm thankful for you. God gives us so many reasons to be thankful. What are you thankful for? Think about it and remember. We can choose to be thankful. Speaking of which, thanks for learning and growing with me, friends. 